today on Fat Man Makes, we are going to learn how to fix a cheap 25 kilogram servo to actually give us 180 degree rotation like it was supposed to when we bought it. Make sure to click subscribe and ring that bell for notifications of the next Fat Man Makes. So let's test the throw of this 25 kilogram servo. And if we set it up to auto mode, we can see what the swing is. And we can see that it's it's not giving us that full 180 degree range that we're looking for here. So let's see if we can fix that. All right, so we flip the servo over and we have to take off these four screws to get the faceplate off. So we have this breakout board that the cables feed into. And then if we look in the, the bottom of this board, we have these three wires. And these three wires go to the potentiometer in the base here. So if we take these two outer wires and we put a 2.2 K resistor in there, that's supposed to give us more throw and get us to that 180 degrees that we're looking for. So I desoldered these two out, outermost wires on the left and the right and added some pigtails in there. Let's just solder them in quick. Great, so now we have these two pigtails and then we have the two wires that go down into that potentiometer. So we have that gray and the white and the two red ones. So let me grab some resistors and a breadboard and we can do some quick testing here. Okay, so we have the resistors here and some jumpers to our pigtails. All right, let's uh, power up. We're at neutral right now. It, you know, it looks like neutral shifted just a little from where it was. So that's as good as it's gonna get. And let's see what our, our throw is, see if it increased. So definitely on the right side, we're getting, we're getting more. So looks like we're getting almost 180 here. Let's try it again. So center did shift a little. It's as close as we're getting. And if we put the wiper mode on, it doesn't look like quite 180 here, but it definitely looks better than it was. So I think the only way we're really gonna know is by firing up the transmitter and receiver and just running some tests. So let's try that. All right, so we got the receiver um, plugged into channel three right now. I figure that's the easiest uh, one to use. Okay. So we're powered back up and we can see that um, zero for that channel, basically 90 degrees from neutral. So let's go to neutral. And neutral seems neutral and let's go to 100%. So yeah. So it looks like if we add those 2.2K resistors um, onto both sides uh, in the servo, we do in fact get 180 degrees rotation, which is what we really wanted. So cool. All right, I cleared some of the junk. Let's uh, fire up the soldering iron and uh, get this done. So we have to clear out the pigtails real quick. Just hit them quickly with the iron and then clear out any solder in those holes. And once that's done, we can insert the resistors 2.2K um, on each side, solder them in and cut off the excess. Cut some heat shrink to insulate everything and slip that on the, the original red wires here. 
And once we got that all on, then we can shorten up these resistors and solder on the wire. And do the same for the other side. Heat shrink. And then we can solder on the resistor. We just have to shrink up the heat shrink to protect the resistors. And reseat this board and get the back faceplate on and we're good to go. All right, let's wrap it up. Here's the final test. Um, we got the servo all back together. Let's power it up. And pull in the controller. All right, so throttle is all the way down. And if we go all the way up, I would say not quite, it's almost 180, but it's pretty close. I think the 100 is just a hair off and, and that might be, that might be a trim. You might be able to adjust that with trim. But that's a lot better throw than we had originally starting out. So I would call this a success. All right, see you guys next time. Thank you.